Hello guys, in this tutorial what we are gonna do is we'll try to fix this error. So this error came up when I tried to install the Laravel framework um, and this is in a Windows 10 uh, and the server is a WAMP server. Yeah. So I have tried to install it and when I access the browser I get this error. So I will try to show you how we can fix this error because I've tried um, you know if you go to search in internet and they there is an option to use the composer install and then composer update so with this in make in some cases you can fix the problem but in my case um, seems like this is not the uh, right uh, solution so maybe you have the same situation but that the same um, problem as me and uh, is more than just to the composer install so let's let's see how I have done and I have fixed that um, first of all let's open a git bash and just um, see if the composer is installed so type composer and press enter and now um, we can scroll up and see see that uh, the composer is correctly install it. So next step is let's try a composer install and press enter. So this will install all the dependencies uh, which are in the composer.json file. Yeah? Um, if we refresh the browser now you can see it's still the same. There is no uh, fixing for this uh, error by using just composer install. Uh, I, I will try composer update as well. Um, and um, if I press enter now we will try this will try to update all the dependencies um, they are uh, on the composer.json so let's refresh the browser again and as you can see it's still the same so the problem is not fixed this is a virtual host for my project so um, if I go to my folder the folder where I got the projects here are the folders for the for this uh, projects uh, as you can see there is no vendor uh, projects because the errors mention something about the vendor auto load so let's open a git bash and see the php version in my case as you can see it's version 5 i will open a command prompt from windows as well just to make sure it's the same and just type php version and this will show in my case is 5.6.40 So if I open the WAMP settings here, if you go to the PHP versions, as you can see, the PHP version 7 is, but is different than in the console. So how can I fix that? I need to go to the left uh, bottom corner and just type environment. And we need to open the system environment variables. So this pop-up will come up and should click to um, uh, this button which is um, the environment variables and once uh, we click that we another pop-up is coming up and uh, we need to edit this path yeah so once we click or double click on this path and um, here we have the php.5 uh, php 5.6.40 already there yeah and we just need to replace that so uh, we need to add a php 7 um, we need to go to the um, WAMP server uh, in WAMP then we need to go to bin php and here in the php folder we have the versions so we need to select the php 7 point in my case is 7.3.12 and um, just copy that path and uh, paste it in the place of the one which is uh, uh, five yeah so copy that path double uh, double click on here and paste that route and then press uh, press ok ok and uh, close that um, that window then okay now once we got this we need to close our shell git bash and uh, command line and open it again and once it's open it let's try php version again and now we should be able to see the right version which is 7 here 
as you can see this is done now now let's see um, leave this open and uh, let's try first of all we need to go to the the folder of the project if we don't have the composer globally install it we need to go to the folder where the project is and inside of this project we need to run composer install now if we run this command composer install this will install the proper um, dependency so this will work and now as you can see we have the vendor added to this uh, folder to our project yeah so this means this will work now okay now uh, this is done so just by changing the php version this will make it work yeah so if we refresh the browser now this have been changed but we got this error so what we have to do we have to replicate the env file because this is coming with the laravel installation but it's a dot example okay so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna open this folder in the um, code editor which is visual studio in my case so right click and open with code and this will open and uh, here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open that file which is dot env dot example is this one so open this one and I will do um, let's see okay open and save us I'll do save us and save it again in the same location yes and uh, but change the name just delete all of the end we have to delete the dot text as well so leave it as just dot env and now this uh, should uh, clean that 500 error and um, if we refresh the page now you can see this is working except we need to create the up key which is the the laravel provide the link uh, button to do that so just click on that button and um, refresh again the project and this should work so this is how you can fix this error and, and by using windows 10 and uh, WAMP server if you like this video please give a like and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our channel